What is going on ladies and gentlemen and today we're going to be showing you how to fix any flashing or flickering issues that you may have on towards your Windows 10. So I've created a checklist or more of a long of a, a simple four step guide. It's going to be really simple. We're going to be going through it on this video. Really, really simple to do. So um, first thing is, if you guys can do me one big happy favor is to hit the big red button that says subscribe, hit the post notifications every time that I upload, you'll be notified. I live stream on mixer.com slash codec show. So if you ever need any uh, help, you know, that's where I'm at. So check the description, check the pinned comments. They hold useful information. So let's uh, get that all out of the way. And uh, first thing you wanna do is check your cables. It's very simple to check for any damages. And if you have any um, replacement cables, just switch it out. What's a few extra 30 seconds switching out cables is going to do to you? Hurt your back? Maybe, maybe for some actually. But uh, if you could do that, then awesome. But um, yeah, so check for damages or if you have any angry mother-in-laws that likes to chew on it and just wanna give you a hard time, then um, yeah. So check for other cables. Now the type of cables that um, are out there are VGA, DVI, HDMI, and Display Ports, and now there's even with uh, Thunderbolt or even Type C cables that uh, also help out as well. So um, those are the type of cables that you are mainly going to be looking at. Are you using a AMD or an NVIDIA GPU graphics uh, graphics card? And if you are, um, make sure that you download the drivers by going to uh, Google, then going into typing uh, AMD um, drivers, and it will take you through the process of to download them. It'll automatically, should automatically detect. Um, if you're unable to uh, detect it automatically, either on AMD or NVIDIA, so let's pop up NVIDIA as well, NVIDIA. If it's unable to automatically detect, and uh, what you could do is type in, uh, hit the Windows key, type in uh, drivers, or excuse me, device manager. And then you go down towards where it says display adapters and it'll say what kind of um, graphics card do you have? So Radeon is an AMD product. So Radeon RX 570. And uh, if it says Nvidia, then you, know, you can just match it out with, um, with on its manufacturer's website. If that doesn't pop up right there, there's another thing that you can do is hit the Windows key and R on your keyboard, or you can also go towards the um, Windows icon right here, right click, hit run, and this will pop up. Then you're going to type in DX Diag, then hit enter, oops, DX Diag, then hit yes and then it will run this through. Then you're gonna to go to your display tab and it will say manufacturer, AMD, uh, then uh, Radeon and it will get a little bit more information out of that. So then you can just, uh, that's how you find out if you have an AMD or a NVIDIA product um, installed. If you don't have one installed, uh, you gotta go to your manufacturer's webpage if you have a Dell, HP, Asus, Acer, um, so on and so forth. Type in the name of the manufacturer right and um the model number the model number should be posted on the sticker somewhere on that machine if not um you can go down towards where the where we had the uh, diax diag popped up um uh, then we can go down towards the um it'll say system manufacturer it should build out but this is a custom built computer so it should give you this information such as the system model and you just place that right in here so um, and as for like custom built computers, just kind of know what your MOBO is. So, uh, motherboard, usually windows update helps. So if you just, uh, hit the windows key, type in windows update and, uh, just click on check for updates and, uh, just click on check for updates and, uh, that should help out now. For the final, final solution, if you already did all this and you're still having that problem, this is where um, this should fix it. So really simple to, simple to do. What we wanna do is type in, um, we want to open up that run box, right click, run, 
So right click on this Windows box or hit uh, Windows key, then R on your keyboard. Then you're gonna type in msconfig, hit enter. Then you're gonna go towards your boot. Uh, then you're gonna go to advanced options. Actually, no, that's not it. You're gonna go down to your services. That's where I meant to go towards too. So you're gonna be looking for Windows error reporting and problem reporting or problem reports and solutions. So let's go, let's get, everything's in ABC order. So if we go scroll down to problems, should be in ABC order. I guess it's not. So you're gonna have to look through the problems report and solutions and also Windows error reporting. And you're gonna uncheck mark that. Let's just say for the sake of the video to save some time, you found it. Oh, so there's Windows reporting service. So that's it right there. And actually it's right there. So those two are right next to each other. Awesome. So you're gonna uncheck those two. You're gonna hit okay. Then it says, would you like to reset the computer? Let's just say for the sake of this, um, we already hit uh, the uncheck mark and I'll say apply and I'll say okay. And it says, would you like to reset the computer? Then you'll just go ahead and reset the computer and see what happens from there. And if it stopped the flickering, it should stop the flickering. All these steps should have helped in one way or another. So check the cables. Uh, if you're running a graphics card, uh, make sure that you have the software update. Um, if you don't have the graphics card, you know, check the manufacturer's webpage with the manufacturer of the computer that you have, if it's a Dell or HP, get the model number. Usually there's a sticker that will say the model number on your machine. Um, if that doesn't help out, then do the Windows update. And if that doesn't help out, then final step is to disable those things. So I hope that this video was very informative and helpful um do leave feedback in the comment section down below if it helped out so others know that it's actually legitimate and all this whatnot stuff so um i hope again that this was helpful and make sure you hit a thumbs up share subscribe and we'll see you in the next video y'all take care bye for sticking around please feel free to watch my other videos don't forget to like share subscribe follow my social media if you're feeling generous check out my patreon or send in a donation of any amount with paypal it really helps out with post-production equipment food in my belly and also continue making free content for you guys links in the description y'all take care and thank you once again